Reptilians. This is Sherry with Reptilians. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to move an ant from an old test tube to a new test tube. The new test tube, I actually did do this test tube on another video. I showed how to actually set it up for a new ant. It's pretty much the same process for switching them from one test tube to another. The difference is, is you just don't need this. So I'm just going to use the same test tube because I have already have an ant that I've shown before. It's a Camp and Notice ant. She's kind of hiding in there. Let's see if I can get her. And she is going to move from one to the other because as you can tell, there's a bunch of gunk here. And the cotton balls tend to do that. Um, something will get in there and it will just start a chain reaction and they'll get all icky. Um, majority of the time this stuff is not actually harmful but I do like to move them over when that starts happening or give them an option to move over because sometimes they won't think that it's bad enough to move over so they'll just stay in the test tube and I'll give you some ideas and some tips and tricks on how to get them to move from one test tube to another uh, but it, ultimately it's really up to them I've had some of these Campanatus queens that I've done every trick or tip and they just refuse to move and they can actually stay it can actually take like weeks to months to get them to move from one test tube to another I have noticed uh, ants like my Myrmica ants or Tetramorium ants tend to move a lot quicker especially when light is put on their the, the old test tube so I'll explain that a little later but they tend to move fairly quickly if you stick to using some some of the tips or tricks. If you just leave it up to them, it could be weeks. Now I am going to show you how to do it on this test tube, but if you notice, it's got this edge that comes out. It's not really uh, straight like this test tube. These test tubes are a little bit easier to do because they just interlocked and they're just flat, so you can just tape them around. These ones are slightly harder. But what I would do is I would take a test tube pretty much I did with this one is you clean it out you fill it up with some water you put a cotton ball in there uh, they can actually suck the water off the cotton ball so they're still getting water they don't have any issues and it helps with moisture some ants like a really moist nest area so they'll use this side of it but you put the cotton ball in there you gotta do it pretty quickly so that there's no air bubbles air bubbles can cause suction and stuff and then normally if you had a new ant you would put this in to keep them in there but since we're actually going to put these two test tubes together we don't need that cotton ball and I'm going to have to remove this cotton ball so starting off we will need some tape because that's how you're going to stick them together and because these are bigger ones I need a decent amount of tape I always like to fold down the end so I have something to pick up when I need to remove the tape so I just, whoop, stuck on my finger. So I just fold down the end. I don't know if you can see that. But it makes kind of like a little grip because it won't stick, so it just kind of sticks up. Now with this ant, I'm going to go ahead and remove the cotton ball. And I'm going to put this on. And I just put the tent tape all the way around. Whoop. I gotta redo it real quick. I didn't put it on there straight. Again, with the flat um, test tubes, this is a lot easier. So you just put it on there and you just tighten it down. And that's that's how you do it. As you can tell, she's already kind of walking around. I kind of agitated her. I think you can see her better that way. So yeah, now I still have this little flip tab here so I can lift it up and you'll want to do that because like I said it can take them time to move from one side to the clean side and when you're doing that they still need air so you're going to have to still lift that up give them some air and then close it back up again. Now I can throw that away but this one's still good to use and these are easier like I said because they're flat so you can just flatten it on there and they stick really well these you'll have to watch if you do have any like this which most won't you'll have to make sure that it doesn't come apart at all 
Okay, now that we've got her set up like this, I just wanted to cover a few things about how to get her to move from this icky one to the clean one. First thing you're going to want to do is you're definitely going to want to cover this side since they prefer darkness. You're going to want to cover it. I tend to just use a towel. And that way this area is dark and they're more inclined to move over. Another way to do it is to actually put a lamp, like you could do like a desk lamp or something, and just shine it down on this side. And not only will it be bright so that they'll want to move, they'll think that someone's gone and dug up, you know, the top of their nest. And so they'll be more inclined to move to the dark side. But that bulb on them will actually warm this up a bit. And, uh, the warmth and stuff will make them want to move over so that they can actually over here they're going to be able to decide whether they want to be closer to a cooler area or not so that'll heat them up a little bit and they'll move another option is to just wait until this side is dry like in the small tubes that I have I'll pull one out real quick these small tubes, they tend to run out fairly quickly of water because they're, you know, half the size and they're much smaller. You don't want it to be completely dry because you want them to have some water, but you'll want to wait until there's no water left and the cotton ball that's down here is a little dry. When that happens, then you connect them to a new one. It has water. They're more inclined to move over. Um, other options for people that have actually done this a few times and everything, uh, some people will actually put a heating pad underneath on this side and warm it up. The ants get uncomfortable and they'll move over. So you can do a combination of everything or just one at a time. You know, you could start off with a light and just add things depending on, you know, if it's working or not. Just keep in mind that it can take them a while to move over. Uh, besides that, always keep this here. Don't forget to let them breathe occasionally, you know. I'd probably do it about once a day. Uh, besides that, I find that when they have workers, I find that they are more willing to move than when there's just a queen like this set up. But hers is pretty bad, so I'm really hoping she'll just move over. But the workers are the ones that will tend to start the movement. They'll go over, check out the other side, see what's going on, come back, grab brood, move the brood over, then move the queen over. So you'll have better luck if there's workers with the queen than when it, the queen's just by herself. They tend to just deal with, you know, the issues. But as you can see, she's kind of trying to decide, and I find that these queens will get over there and then they'll come back. And it's probably just going over there to get water and coming back, but yeah, I hope she's moving. We'll see. If she does, then she'll prove me completely wrong, and she'll be like, ha, huh, I did it in one day rather than weeks, but we'll see. So anyways, that's how that works. And I do have some other ones. They're set up. They're just on the other side. They're out of range, but I already have some that are set up. Yeah, see, here she comes. She's coming back. I know it's kind of hard to see her because of the glare. But she just went over, checked it out for a second, came back. Hopefully that'll encourage her to move. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything, go ahead and leave a comment down at the bottom. I'll try to get them all answered. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channels. Thumbs up if you thought this was a good video. Or like, you know, whichever it is. Uh, besides that, uh, have a good day. Happy ant hunting. Bye.